Welcome back, everybody, to Let's Talk About Sleep, the channel based on the book, based on that which we do, which is Let's Talk About Sleep. The Amazon link to my book is linked in the uh, description box down below, so feel free to, to check that out. And as I always say, these videos are for education only. Okay. So last video, I talked about the Stop Bang Questionnaire, which is a screening tool for sleep apnea. We're going to talk today about the Epworth Sleepiness Scale, okay, so the ESS. And what this is, <clears throat> just like the Stop Bang Questionnaire, this is a self-reported questionnaire you can get online or a million, a million ways to get it. And it's eight scenarios, okay, and the person fills it out of their own, of their own accord. And it's... Um, it's basically eight scenarios and how the person feels in the last day or so, okay? And what we're looking at is the chance of dozing, okay? So the way we count it up is we say zero is no chance of dozing, three is a high chance of dozing, okay, in each of these scenarios. I'm going to read them to you right now. So one, sitting and reading. Two, watching TV. Three, sitting and active in a public place like a theater or a meeting. Four, as a passenger in a car for an hour without a break. Five, lying down to rest in the afternoon when your circumstances permit. Six, sitting and talking with someone. Seven, sitting quietly after lunch without alcohol. And eight, in a car while stopped for a few minutes in traffic. Okay, and what's the likelihood that you would doze off in each of these scenarios? Again, zero is never, three is a high chance. We add up all the scores and the max would be 24. Usually a score of eight or higher, we consider to be borderline, possibly getting into the realm of, of sleepy, okay? People with very, very severe sleep apnea, they may score in the 14, 16 range. Somebody with narcolepsy, they may score in the 20, 22, 24 range, okay? So these are people who are falling asleep all the time, all right? This is a good measure. Again, it's not perfect, but just like the stop bang questionnaire, if you're scoring high, especially consistently, it may be something you want to talk to your to your provider about, okay? A sleep evaluation probably would be helpful. Okay. Again, patients with narcolepsy, they're they're not they're gonna say, yeah, I, I doze off in all these scenarios. Somebody who has a more milder case of let's say, you know, mild sleep apnea, let's say, they may score eight, nine, or ten or so, which is kind of on the border. All right. Somebody who's chronically sleep deprived, they may score on the on the on the border. I always kind of make a joke when I when I uh, give a talk to to medical residents. Um, <laughs> I tell them I'm like these scores don't apply to you because you're going to be tired no matter what. So that's just the uh, the medical life or the medical training life, I should say. So yeah, so that's the uh, that's the, the the Epworth score. You can definitely get it online. So look into it um, if you have any if you have any uh, concern. Um, and just like the stop bang questionnaire, this video is a quick hit. Quick Z, as I call them. So, uh, so please, uh, please uh, drop any questions or concerns you may have in the comment section. I will answer all of them. At the end of the month, I do a video, a Q and A video, usually one to two videos, answering any and all comments or questions. Um, at the end, or I keep saying at the end, but when we get to a thousand subscribers, that's an end. Um, we will, uh, I will send out a copy, a signed copy of my book to a lucky subscriber, but you got to be in it to, uh, to win it. So please, uh, sub please click subscribe on the, uh, on the video down below and uh, like this video and please share with your friends and family until next time, everybody sleep well.